Another way of drawing lines is the lines best fit through points. Now there's two different ways that I'm gonna demonstrate this, and it may not seem all that useful, but later on in other definitions, we'll use this, and so you'll see how useful it actually is. But to start things off, we need to create a whole bunch of points. And so we're gonna start with the point by coordinate. The point by coordinate node is gonna be one of your favorite nodes. You're going to be using it a lot. And we actually are going to need four of these. So I'm going to click three more times, and then I'm going to arrange these sort of vertically here, like so. And so we're going to create a whole bunch of points, and we're going to use code blocks to assign the x, y's, and z's for these points. So I'm going to click over here, double click, and then I'm going to create one code block that just contains the number five. And so this number five is actually going to be the Y coordinate for this point. It's gonna be the X coordinate for that point. And it's also going to be the Z coordinate for that point. And it's gonna be the X coordinate for this point. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, why am I doing this? Well, what I'm trying to achieve here is just a sort of random collection of points in space. And so I'm not creating a sequence of points. I'm not creating you know, a line of points or anything like that. I'm just creating this random sort of constellation of points in space. And so I'm gonna create another code block here that uses 10. And the 10 is gonna be the Y coordinate for this point and also the Z. And then it's going to be the Y coordinate for the point down here at the bottom. And then lastly, we'll have one more code block, which will be 15, and that will be the Z coordinate for this point. And so now I have four points that have seemingly sort of random positions within three-dimensional space. And now I want to create a line that fits through those points. Now keep in mind, it's a line, so that means it's gonna be a straight line. The node that we're looking for is line by best fit through points. And so this is what it looks like. And so that little icon of that node pretty much explains what this node does. You have this constellation of points, and then based on the position of those points, it draws a line that best fits through those points. But you can see here the input for this node, it says best fit points. So it's looking for points. You can see here points, but it just has the one input. I have four outputs here four outputs that need to fit into one input. So what that means is I have to collapse these four into a single list. And so this is the first time of many, many times that we're going to create a list of something. So we're going to say list create. And then this has a plus and a minus, so you can create as many inputs as you need. And also notice that it's going zero, one, two, three. All lists and everything in Dynamo it always starts with zero. So zero is always the first one. So we plug that one into zero index. We plug this one into the index one, index two, and index three. And then I click on this little preview button here, and you can see that it has compiled those four points into a list. And then the singular output can then go into best fit through points. And you can see what happens is it basically just figures out where a line can fit through those points and be equidistant to all of them. And so if I spin the model around here, you can see that that line is basically right down the middle of where all those points are. So that's one version of this that you can use, but there's actually two others that are slightly more useful.